Yo, Bella, that was fucking gross, bro. That was nasty. nasty. Yo, that was gross. Your butt is too big to be doing that shit, man. You gotta have some respect. I was sent away to military school and I used to get beat up by the white kids. <laughs> and I wanted to learn how to fight, you know, but I didn't know how. I met a mentor named uh, Aaron Muhammad, one of the best trainers in, in, in Chicago. He, taught, he let me work out with him for a summer. No, I get back to school, nobody wants any smoke. Does that make sense? Now, now I would tell it a little different. I would, I would tell it with like more emotion. I want you guys to think about your story. So how would I sell that? Like, how would I use that story to sell? So I'd be like, man, this is when I bring emotion up. Say, man, you know, maybe I'll say, man, I, you know, I, I used to be just like you, you know, I was skinny. Let's say I was selling like a muscle building product. Like, man, I was skinny, I, and I, I wasn't strong, I didn't know what I used to, And um, I wanted to put on some muscle, I was skinny, you know, and I used to get, I used to get beat up by the, by the kids, you know, by these, these kids, they're these little assholes, and I didn't know what to do with myself. I thought about giving up, and I would have, till I met, Guy named Aaron Muhammad. He was voted number one trainer in Chicago multiple years in a row. He's a friend of the family. He's actually Steve Harvey's trainer now. And uh, he let me work out with him for a summer. And I, I learned a lot. And so when I got to, back to school, man, I thought, man, I'm, I'm gonna fuck these kids up the moment I see him, man. It's on site. But then I see him, they actually didn't want no smoke. They ain't want no problems. In fact, they asked me to train them. And that's when I started training people. I don't want you guys to go through the same thing I went through. That's why I put together my, my Muscle Mountain program. Mm. Swipe up to learn more. That, that was like a, 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 a quick version of it. You don't want to make yourself the star all the time. Like what you really want is you want to make yourself Yoda. Yo, what up, bro? What is that? Take you some keto shit right now. It looks good. Hell yeah, bro. You got to get the finished product. Finished product soon, yeah. I got you. This is keto? Right there, bro. It smells delicious. Got me a gift, man. Got me shirt, man. What do you think? Sums up who I am. Sums up my whole personality, <laughs> man. Cause like some niggas is humble. Some people are humble, but they not more humble than me. Ain't no one ever been more humble than me, man. You know, some people are modest. They ain't never been this modest. I never talk about how modest I am, cause I'm way too good for that. Like I'm way better than that. I wouldn't even have bought this shirt for me because I'm so fucking humble. <laughs> but if someone gives you it, then it's like, yeah, all right. Alex is saying it's about me and I'm just agreeing that I'm the most humble nigga of all time, 100%. If I'm the most humble person you know, I'm gonna fucking got shit on my, me and my humility. My only fucking problem is I don't get enough credit for how humble I am and I never will because I don't do it for the praise. I'm not modest for the praise. I'm not humble for the praise. That's just who I am. The most humble motherfucker of all time. I'm like a god, a god of modesty. Okay, okay, there's man, okay, there's beast, man, god, me. But I'm so humble, I never talk about it. You couldn't even comprehend it. Alice can't read. What is it, Sizzling Wrong? Oh, no, no, that's me. That's who I am. <gasps> Yo, Bella, that was fucking gross, bro. That was nasty. nasty. Yo, that was gross. I'm not filming these videos for you. Your butt is too big to be doing that shit, man. You gotta have some respect. You let all that far out that big ass butt, man. That's fucking gross. You turned something so beautiful into something so nasty, man. Yo, I thought I raised you better than that. That's my fake white dog. No home training. <laughs> what it is. I got my notes. So now this new note takes it, it sinks the oh. I was drawing in, in my class today. I was trying to explain some shit. That's was, actually kind of good. Is it? I, I, I drew this shit today. I was like, I was trying to explain like, shit to these fools, you know? This is how you tell a story. Like you have a person and he has a problem. Then he meets a guy. You can tell it's a guy because of the hat. Yeah, and he has a solution. And he has a solution. And he teaches it to the fucking guy, right? He gives him a map. And then the guy uses the plan to accomplish his goals and shit on the haters. And that's 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 every story. That's what I was teaching in my mastermind today. It got a little more deeper than that. Say hi to Thanos. Hey Thanos. Gotta go. 
I got a, a training. I gotta take. I gotta catch the Uber because I have to do um training in that fucking twenty five hundred dollar a month mastermind. High level Facebook shit. Step my game on there. Always learn. I'm just learning. Learning to learn.